What happens if the U.S. stop protecting Japan? In the realm of international relations, the United States' commitment to Japan's security has been a cornerstone of post-World War II peace and stability in the Asia-Pacific region. This alliance, formalized through the Treaty of Mutual Cooperation and Security between the United States and Japan, has not only shaped the strategic landscape of East Asia but has also been pivotal in maintaining a balance of power in a region characterized by rapid economic growth, territorial disputes, and shifting power dynamics. Understanding what could happen if the United States ceased to protect Japan is crucial, not only for policymakers and scholars but also for anyone interested in the future of global stability and international order. This potential shift could have far-reaching implications, influencing everything from regional security dynamics to global economic trends. Before we head into the next chapter, help us beat the YouTube algorithm by liking and subscribing. Thank you. Watch to the end for the punchline, you will like it. Historical Context and the Evolution of the U.S.-Japan Alliance The U.S.-Japan Alliance, born out of the ashes of World War II, has evolved significantly over the past seven decades. Initially, the United States occupied Japan and played a key role in its post-war reconstruction. The Security Treaty, first signed in 1951 and revised in 1960, formalized a mutual defense arrangement wherein the United States agreed to help defend Japan in exchange for the ability to station U.S. forces on Japanese soil. This arrangement was crucial during the Cold War, as it provided the United States with a strategic foothold in Asia to counter Soviet influence. Over the years, Japan's reliance on the United States for its national security allowed it to focus on economic development, transforming into a global economic powerhouse. The alliance also shaped Japan's post-war pacifist identity, enshrined in its constitution, which renounces the right to wage war. The presence of U.S. forces in Japan has been a stabilizing factor in a region marked by historical animosities and territorial disputes, particularly with China and the two Koreas. However, this arrangement has not been without its challenges and controversies. Issues such as the hosting of U.S. military bases, especially in Okinawa, have been a source of domestic contention in Japan. Moreover, the evolving geopolitical landscape, including the rise of China and North Korea's nuclear ambitions, has prompted debates within Japan about the need to reassess its defense posture and reliance on the United States. The Strategic Vacuum and Regional Power Dynamics the withdrawal of U.S. military protection from Japan would create a strategic vacuum in the Asia-Pacific region, a scenario with profound implications for regional power dynamics and global geopolitics. This strategic vacuum would not only alter the balance of power but also potentially destabilize the region's delicate security architecture. The most immediate and significant impact would be the shift in the regional balance of power. The U.S. military presence in Japan has been a key element in maintaining the balance of power in East Asia, deterring potential aggressors, and providing a security umbrella under which regional countries have prospered. Without this presence China would likely view the U.S. withdrawal as an opportunity to assert its dominance more aggressively in the region. Beijing might accelerate its military buildup in the South China Sea and East China Sea, further fortify its man-made islands, and increase its naval presence. This could embolden China to press its territorial claims more forcefully, particularly over the disputed Senkaku, Diaoyu Islands with Japan. North Korea could interpret the U.S. withdrawal as a weakening of the U.S.-Japan-South Korea security triangle. Pyongyang might be encouraged to take a more belligerent stance, potentially escalating its missile and nuclear testing programs. This would pose a direct threat to Japanese security and could destabilize the entire Korean peninsula. Russia, with interests in the region, particularly in the context of the Kuril Islands dispute with Japan, could seek to expand its influence in Northeast Asia. Moscow might strengthen its military capabilities in the Far East and seek closer ties with Beijing, altering the strategic landscape significantly. South Korea, another key U.S. ally in the region, would find itself in a precarious position. Seoul might feel compelled to ramp up its own military capabilities or even reconsider its approach to the North Korean threat. This could include reassessing its missile defense and nuclear policy. ASEAN countries' concerns. Countries in Southeast Asia, particularly those with competing claims in the South China Sea, such as Vietnam and the Philippines, would be deeply concerned about China's unchallenged ascendancy. 
They might seek to bolster their military capabilities, form new alliances, or even align closer with China out of necessity. Australia and India would likely view the US withdrawal as destabilizing. Both countries might enhance their naval capabilities and seek stronger security partnerships with each other and other regional players like Indonesia and Vietnam to counterbalance China's growing influence. The strategic vacuum could lead to an arms race in the region. Countries, feeling insecure and threatened by their neighbors' military buildup, might increase their defense spending dramatically. This could include the acquisition of advanced weaponry, such as missile defense systems, submarines, and even nuclear weapons, further escalating tensions and instability. The East and South China Seas are already flashpoints for regional tensions due to overlapping territorial claims. The absence of the U.S. as a stabilizing force could lead to increased assertiveness by claimant states, potentially resulting in skirmishes or even conflicts. Japan, in particular, would feel immense pressure to protect its territorial integrity without U.S. backing. In response to the power vacuum, new security alliances and partnerships could emerge. Japan might seek closer ties with countries like Australia, India, and the United Kingdom, leading to a new security framework in the region. There could also be a push for strengthening regional security mechanisms, such as expanding the role of the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue Quad, involving the US, Japan, India, and Australia. The strategic vacuum resulting from the U.S. withdrawal of military protection from Japan would signify cantly alter the geopolitical landscape of the Asia-Pacific region. It would challenge the existing balance of power, potentially leading to increased regional instability, an arms race, and shifts in alliance structures. The implications of such a development would extend beyond the region, affecting global security and economic stability. As such, the U.S.-Japan alliance not only serves the interests of these two nations but also plays a crucial role in maintaining the broader regional and global order. Japan's response and the path to self-reliance The scenario of the United States ceasing its protection of Japan would necessitate a profound and multifaceted response from Japan, encompassing military, political, economic, and diplomatic dimensions. The path to self-reliance would be complex and challenging, requiring Japan to navigate numerous internal and external constraints. The cornerstone of Japan's response would likely involve revising its pacifist constitution, particularly Article 9, which has long restricted its military capabilities to self-defense. This would be a significant and controversial political move, requiring national debate and a public referendum. Japan would need to substantially increase its defense budget, this would involve not only expanding its self-defense forces but also investing in advanced offensive capabilities, such as long-range missiles, stealth fighters, and aircraft carriers. One of the most contentious issues would be whether Japan should pursue its own nuclear deterrent. While this would be a dramatic shift from its post-World War II stance, the threat perceptions in a new strategic environment might make this option more palatable or even necessary. Enhancing capabilities in cybersecurity and space would be crucial for Japan to counter New Age warfare tactics and ensure the security of its communication and intelligence networks. The shift towards a more assertive defense posture would require broad political consensus. This could lead to significant shifts in Japan's domestic political landscape, with potential changes in party dynamics and national discourse on security issues. Diplomatically, Japan would seek to forge new alliances and strengthen existing partnerships. This could include deeper defense ties with countries like Australia, India, the UK, and potentially even South Korea, despite historical animosities. Japan would need to engage in intensive diplomacy in East Asia to reassure its neighbors about its defense posture, particularly given historical sensitivities related to Japan's militaristic past. Japan would likely increase its reliance on and engagement with international institutions like the United Nations for conflict resolution and to bolster its position in international law, especially regarding territorial disputes. The increase in defense spending would have significant implications for Japan's defense industry. This could stimulate domestic industrial and technological development but would also require careful management to avoid excessive militarization of the economy. Economically. Japan might seek to diversify its trade partnerships and reduce reliance on any single market. This could involve pursuing new trade agreements and strengthening their role in multilateral economic frameworks. 
Japan's dependence on imported energy and resources would necessitate strategies to secure its supply chains and develop alternative sources, possibly through international partnerships or technological innovation in renewable energy. The Japanese public's view on a more assertive military role would be critical. The government would need to navigate public sentiment carefully, balancing national security needs with the deeply ingrained pacifist ethos of its society. A shift towards a more self-reliant defense posture would also require a cultural shift in a society that has long been accustomed to pacifism and reliance on the U.S. for security. This would involve education and public dialogue to reshape national identity in the context of a changing security environment. Integrating a larger and more active military force into Japanese society would also pose challenges, requiring policies to ensure the military's accountability and its alignment with democratic values and civilian control. Japan's path to self-reliance in the wake of the U.S. withdrawing its security guarantees would be a complex journey, fraught with challenges but also presenting opportunities for Japan to R. E. define its role on the global stage. It would require a comprehensive approach, balancing military upgrades with diplomatic outreach, economic strategies, and societal adjustments. The transformation would not only redefine Japan's national security policy but would also have profound implications for regional dynamics and international relations. Global Economic Implications The withdrawal of U.S. military protection from Japan would also have profound economic implications. Japan is the world's third-largest economy, and its security is intricately linked to the stability of global markets. Any perception of increased risk in the region could lead to economic volatility, affecting global trade, supply chains, and financial markets. Companies and investors might become wary of committing resources to a region perceived as unstable, which could slow down economic growth not only in Japan but across the Asia-Pacific. Moreover, the U.S. withdrawal could lead to a reconfiguration of economic alliances. Japan might seek to strengthen economic ties with other countries as a counterbalance to its reduced security reliance on the United States. This could accelerate existing trends, such as the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership CPTPP, or lead to new trade agreements and economic partnerships. In the longer term, the stability of the Asia-Pacific region would hinge on how well Japan and other regional players adapt to the new security landscape. The region's future would depend on whether these nations can forge a stable balance of power, manage territorial disputes peacefully, and cooperate on shared challenges like North Korea's nuclear program and China's assertive foreign policy. Conclusion The potential withdrawal of U.S. military protection from Japan represents a seismic shift in the post-World War II international order. Such a move would have far-reaching implications, not just for Japan and the United States, but for the entire Asia-Pacific region and the global community. It would challenge long-standing alliances, reshape regional power dynamics, and potentially alter the course of global economic trends. As the world navigates these uncharted waters, it becomes increasingly important to understand the complexities and nuances of such a change. The decisions made by Japan, the United States, and other regional players in response to this hypothetical scenario would shape the future of international relations, peace, and stability in one of the most dynamic regions of the world. The ripple effects of such a monumental shift underscore the interconnected nature of our global community and the importance of thoughtful, informed policymaking in an ever-evolving geopolitical landscape. Who needs superheroes when you might have a self-reliant Japan? It's like discovering that Hello Kitty has a black belt in judo. Until next time, take care.